Once upon a time, there was a 17-year-old boy in prison in Venezuela for drug offenses and armed robbery. Someone gave him a clarinet and taught him how to play. When he was asked what it was like the first time he picked it up, he answered, it's a lot different from when you hold a gun. Last I heard, Lennar was in Germany, apprenticing to make organs. What miracle allowed him to turn his life around? This is a photo of an internationally acclaimed youth orchestra, which has toured the world many times, amazing audiences with its energy and expertise. Where did it spring from? The ghettos of Venezuela. These are youth who grew up not to the sounds of symphonies, but to the gunfire of warring gangs. But a music program, El Sistema, changed their lives. El Sistema is an entirely free after-school program which teaches youth how to play an orchestral instrument. Many of these children would have pretty bleak futures if it wasn't for El Sistema. But how does the music change their lives? There's a lot of research on how music develops certain skills and parts of the brain, but new thinking on child development suggests that it has even broader effects. Adele Diamond is a neuroscientist who has found that the ability to problem solve, collaborate, and work creatively is a better predictor of success, including academic success, than IQ. But what gives us these abilities? How can children in schools be taught these skills? You guessed it, music. Adele Diamond thinks that El Sistema is the perfect example of a program which teaches these and other essential skills. If you think about it, it makes sense. Any instrument, from the banjo to the bassoon, requires you to learn to do different things with your hands at the same time. It's like rubbing your head and patting your stomach taken to new heights. I once had a piano piece by Debussy, which required me to play one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three in the right hand, and one, two, one, two in the left hand. Believe me, it's harder than it sounds. I had to practice to learn to do this, which one must if one wants to accomplish anything or progress on any musical instrument. That takes self-discipline, which I find to be one of the harder parts of learning music. I still need my mother to remind me to practice consistently. And once you start playing in an ensemble, even just your duet, things get even more complicated. Now you must not only look out for yourself, you must also listen to your fellow and keep in time and in tune, while attempting not to lose your place in the music. Leaving behind the purely academic benefits of music, what about the community of friends and musicians that a program like El Sistema creates? Students have a new option. The orchestra is their new gang. Music brings them and their families together, and it doesn't stop there. In the case of El Sistema, music unites the nation. The orchestra now is a symbol of the country. It's like the flag, says Gustavo Dudamel, one of the program's most famous protégés. El Sistema also contains an integral component of mentorship. Students teach students. As soon as you know more about playing the cello than someone else, you are helping and teaching them. And honestly, even after passing out all the benefits of El Sistema, the most amazing part of the program is how well it works and plays. Energy. It has sparked an explosion which has spread seeds of El Sistema around the globe. Programs are springing up, giving free music lessons and all the benefits they entail to underprivileged children in the United Kingdom, Canada, and the US. Some have taken root in our backyard. There is a program starting up in Durham, North Carolina this fall. We hope to have a program in Asheville, North Carolina next fall. Two families, both
both containing multiple musicians and deeply interested in social justice are creating it. We plan to start small with a program in Asheville City Preschool. Yvette O'Dell, a kinder music teacher and flautist, and the head of the other family will be organizing the curriculum. But we need your help. We need the community behind us, supporting us, funding us, and spreading the word. Asheville, will you help us make this work? <laughs> Because it will work. As an El Sistema organizer put it, if you can help a poor kid here, you can help a poor kid anywhere. It doesn't matter their culture. It doesn't matter their race. It's music. Everybody loves music. Thank you. <laughs>